My name's Amy Rose Dornbush and I'm the Animal Welfare Research Officer at Zoos Victoria. Animal welfare is um, important in the zoo environment and at Zoos Victoria because we have a ethical obligation to care for the animals that call our four properties home and to be able to do that in the best way that we can to provide animals with opportunities to thrive and live lives worth living, we need to understand those animals. So a big part of my role is measuring behaviour and using behaviour as a tool to monitor the welfare of animals and that is us watching the animals and understanding how and where they spend their time and the different choices that they make in their habitats. So I was lucky enough to work um, and to continue to work with the amazing team um, out at Werribee on the Asian elephants who moved from Melbourne Zoo to Werribee Zoo. The move presented a really amazing opportunity for us that we haven't been able to really do before, which is following a herd throughout their lifetime in different environments. Me and my team are using various bits of data, so we're using behaviour, faecal samples, um, so hormones in elephant poo, as well as keeper collaboration and keeper surveys to understand how the transition has affected each individual and also how their welfare might change over time. Uh, so Amy Rose and her team work really closely with the keeping team. Uh, they're able to help us provide, collect research and data into how we can improve uh, the husbandry routines of our elephants or in this particular case how the move from Melbourne Zoo to Werribee Open Range Zoo actually uh, changed the elephants welfare. Some of the behaviours that we'll look for and that we'll measure in this research that show us that the elephants are adapting really well to their new space would be social behaviours which promote herd cohesion. It's really important for these animals to have positive social experiences. Other sort of self-directed or grooming behaviours like dusting, swimming, rolling around in the special built wallows that they have there and of course a lot of active behaviour and foraging. The space is massive and we've already seen them use so much of it and be able to utilise their natural behaviour and natural behavioural biology to allow them to just be elephants. So thanks to the generous support of um, Petstock and our partnership with them, we've been able to carry out this world first research um, for the elephants and their transition to Werribee Open Range Zoo, but also look after and research all the animals at Zoos Victoria.